from a, how does a coach's behavior impact on the athletes, I think is the, obviously the first one we can control on game day. And I think there just needs to, for me, a consistency of behavior, that, um, a kind of level-headedness to proceedings, uh, um, whether we're talking about f officials or game situations and being able to step back from that. And I know personally I'm a better coach when I'm removed from the emotions of that game. So, um, and sometimes you can feel yourself getting drawn into it. So it's just taking that big breath and, and stepping back out of it. I think that's the big one, first and foremost. I think athletes have to be free to make mistakes in a game, just like they would be in, in practice. Um, they typically don't need to be told when they made that mistake. So perhaps we can leave them alone when they do that and allow them to solve it. And when they're off, have more one-to-one -one interaction on the bench rather than trying to relay messages across the field and when they're trying to solve another problem because the game's already moved on. Um, so they know to be the big two is the, the, the coach's demeanor and not getting caught up in, in the emotions of the game to be that consistent piece and then um, allowing them to make mistakes and solve problems in the game and not feeling uh, like the coach has to be central to everything. And a big piece for me is I think sitting down. I think generally I'm more control if I just sit down on the sideline and pick those moments when you need to stand up and perhaps give some energy to the team, but otherwise kind of be a little bit emotionally removed from proceedings.